Here we go, here we go. You said you wanna work at a restaurant. I'ma get you hired. Follow me, hoes. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, then you already know what's up. If you haven't been here before, then hey girl. My name's Kay Kalor. If you'd like to join the click, then all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button down below because we stay clicked up over here. This is the most requested video that I have received my whole YouTube journey, y'all. This is the most requested video. So, like the video because I'm finally delivering the tea. This video is gonna be how to get hired at the restaurant of your choice. Any restaurant you choose, the one that's for you, I'm gonna tell you how to work there, okay? Or wherever you wanna waitress at, this will work. And I wanna say that this might even work for bottle service. I've never personally worked in specifically bottle service. I've done waitress jobs where we do bottle service, but I've never actually been a bottle girl. But I wanna say that this will probably also work to get you a bottle girl job, girl. So yeah, this is gonna be the only video you need to watch because I'm gonna give you all the tea right here, right now on how to get you this job, okay? So let's get into it. If you don't know what a restaurant is, a restaurant is basically just a waitress job where you're going to be hired and probably tipped based off your appearance. You're probably going to have some cleavage showing. You're going to be most likely sexualized. For example, Hooters. You know, Hooters girls are supposed to be known for, like, the breasts because of the cleavage. You know, they wear the really tight, small little shorts, stuff like that. Um, other examples is going to be, like, Bombshells. That's my most recent restaurant job um twin peaks tilted kilt you know, a bar that's more sexualized yeah that's what a restaurant is it's more likely like more of like a sports bar you're not going to be wearing jeans and a t-shirt you know you're going to be a little bit more exposed they're going to expect you to come to work with hair and makeup and you know you're probably going to be hired based on your appearance so that kind of leads me into step one that you need to do to get hired at your restaurant job. Step number one, you need to go in and you need to scope the scene. When I say scope the scene, I mean you need to go into this restaurant or this bar or this sports bar and you need to sit down as a customer. You can go to the bar, you can get a table, whatever, and you need to peep the scene. You need to see can i see myself doing what these girls are doing which most likely they're just serving drinks serving you know but you need to be mindful is this a fast-paced environment are there a lot of drunk people around are there like what's expected out of the waitresses by looking at them you know what i mean you need to look at the girls and say hey is this girl are these girls all skinny are these girls all got big boobs all got big butt and that's not always a determining factor whether or not you get the job but for example okay hooters versus bombshells i'm gonna kind of insert a something here so you can see kind of the difference in the uniforms hooters however gives me skinny girl vibes big boobs versus bombshells kind of gives me you can be thick you don't have to be thick but you can be a little bit thicker you can be more bottom heavy you can be a little bit got the cake when it comes to bombshells versus hooters they may not appreciate that cake but you need to kind of see like typically what kind of girls work here do i fit in with these type of girls when it comes to my appearance and bombshells plays hip-hop music hooters plays white people music <laughs> no offense to any white people but you see what i'm saying i've worked at both places in both places i did well at both places i appreciate so there's no hate but it's a difference in the vibe you need to check out the vibe are you okay with being in this place where mostly these type of people come in or would you rather be where these type of people come in you see what i'm saying it's just different vibes for every different restaurant and you need to go in and you need to check out the vibe okay that's step number one step number two once you decide okay yes this is the restaurant that i want to work at i think i'd fit in here step number two then you need to get certified okay 
this is not a requirement you do not have to already be pre-certified when you apply to these jobs but i'm telling you do this step beforehand and it will help you in the long run okay every state i don't know what state y'all are in obviously i'm in texas and here in texas we have what's called tabc and that's our um texas alcohol i don't even know what tabc stands for but that's basically the alcohol people and you have to get certified through them to serve alcohol legally in texas and then we have what's called food handlers which is the same thing but it's with food you have to be certified in that to be able to serve food at any restaurant as a server as a waitress as a bartender whatever you need those two things in texas i'm certified for both obviously but you need to go ahead and invest in that. Usually it doesn't cost more than $20 per class. You can take it online. You can usually get it done the same day. But it will give you a certification. Get both of those certifications in your state. Print them out. Okay? Have those. Ready, daddy. Ready, handy, dandy. Okay? Step number three. You need to go apply for the job. Okay? Get cute get dolled up now if you went to this restaurant remember step number one when you went to go scope the scene get cute if everybody of all the waitresses in the restaurant all had their hair down wear your hair down okay <laughs> if nobody had any piercings on their face it's probably because piercings aren't allowed so you might not want to do your most dramatic facial piercings if nobody had bright red hair, you probably don't want to do a lot of colored hair. Do you see what I'm saying? You kind of want to look like you fit the job description when you come in to apply. So when you come in to apply, I mean, get cute, baby. Do your best hair, your best makeup. You might not be wearing that every day to work, and that's fine, because I definitely don't look like this every day when I go to work. But get cute get your best dress like you don't have to do too much on the outfit i'm not saying put on a suit and a dress or nothing like that you can dress casual because it's not a freaking office job interview but you definitely want to look cute casual it's all about the face and the hair right and you want to go in there you want to ask for an application okay the same day that you got cute and went to go ask for that application sit bring you a pen with you babe because that's Step number four, apply in person. Bring a pen with you when you ask for the application because you're gonna want to, as soon as I hand you that application, you're gonna wanna sit down at a booth, a table, the bar, whatever, sit down, fill out that application right then and there, okay? Whenever you come to, to ask for an application, you need to bring with you your certifications, your alcohol and your food certifications, okay? Have it with you handy dandy. Remember when I said have it handy dandy? Have it handy dandy, okay? If you have that along with your application, it's going to make the hiring process for the managers easier. So you're already going to be a step ahead of everybody else who applied. Also, whenever you go, whenever you give your certifications to them, I highly, highly, highly recommend that along with those two certifications that you have a copy like literally you can like make a copy and print it out on a piece of copy paper of your id and also a bomb ass picture of you because you don't want them to forget what you look like okay that will that's gonna really seal the deal for them because if they can look at your application and they can be like oh she has all her stuff right here Oh, this is what she looks like. I don't need to even call her in for another interview. I already know I'm interested in her. Versus the stack of applications with all names, no faces. You see what I'm saying? Yours is going to have a face. So yours is going to be at the top. They already know what you look like. They're already interested. They're like, okay, we definitely want to call her to come in. Okay? So, when you turn in your application on the same day that you asked for the application, on the same day that you sat down and filled out the application. Now, once you have that right, you're ready to turn it in. You are going to ask, whoever gave you that application, it might have just been a host, it might have been a server, it might have been a busboy, who knows, a bartender, whatever. You're going to ask whoever gave you the application. You're going to say, is it okay if I speak with the manager? Or you're going to say, is your manager here? Can I speak with your manager? Whatever. 
okay and once that manager comes to you you're gonna personally hand them your application now here's the key here's the key to this whole thing if you mess this part up it might just be over for you fam when you hand them the application you are going to ask them do you have time for an interview right now do you have time for the on for an on the spot interview okay that is what you need to ask the manager period point blank because that's gonna get you in the doses if you can get an interview you can get the job most likely they're gonna ask you to try on the uniform they might take pictures of you in the uniform see what you look like they might ask you like are you comfortable in the uniform are you confident in the uniform whatever okay and that is going to be the determining factor like do i got this job or not and most likely you will be hired on the spot okay <laughs> if you're not hired on the spot if they don't have time for an in-person interview on the spot interview then that's going to lead me into step number six which is a callback so if they're like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm not the hiring manager, the hiring manager isn't here right now, or if they say, I'm sorry, we're busy right now, um, for whatever reason, if they cannot give you an interview right then and there, then you're definitely going to want to call back. Like, you're going to want to call, you're, of course, whenever they tell you no to the on-the-spot interview, you're going to ask, like, okay, what days are the hiring manager here, what days, what time? And then at that time, on that day that the hiring manager is present, you're going to want to call the store, ask to speak that, to that manager, and ask about your application. And guess what? When that manager, the hiring manager, goes to your application and he flips through it, he or she flips through it, they're going to see your picture, babe. And they're going to be like, okay, can you come in for an interview at this time on this day? Boom, you're in the door okay now that's it for the steps if you can follow all those steps if you fit into the aesthetic if you fit into the family of that restaurant you will get that job but there are a few things that i want to know as well let's go back to scoping the scene that was rule number one i mean that was step number one okay when you scope the scene it's always good to make friends okay if you go sit at the bar make conversation with the bartender when you go scope the scene go at not busy time don't go during lunch during rush hour during dinner time like go when it's slow go on like a monday or a tuesday you know like early when it's not busy where you're gonna have time to talk to people to the waitresses to the bartender you know a manager might even approach you if you you know looking cute and stuff you're gonna want to make friends you're gonna want to make yourself known you know you want to say hi my name is how is it working here you know ask questions how is it working here do you like it you know make conversation with them let them know like you're interested in working there see what's up sculpt the scene like you can't be shy working in this industry of like restaurant waitressing restaurant all that you can't be shy anyway like you gotta do what you gotta do talking is part of the job okay if you don't know anything about working in a restaurant then you should check out my video about why i quit hooters or my get ready with me my chit chat get ready with me for bombshells yeah look at those two videos so you can kind of get a feel of what i'm talking about and i think that that's all my tips and tricks on how to get a higher girl i hope you get the job babe you're gonna get the job babe i know you're gonna get the job you're gonna get the job and you know how i know you're gonna get the job because i just told you how to get the job like you don't have to watch no more videos you don't have to do no more research other than you going to scope the scene and that's it like it's done you got the job i'm manifesting it for you even if you're not ready right now to get that job the moment you decide i want that job it's yours okay babe and like that's gonna be it for this video <laughs> i was so excited to film this like i just knew i had to come with it because i know all the info right and it's only right for me to share that info with y'all like it's only right if you made it to the end of this video then just comment me a purple heart in the comments down below if y'all have any questions comments or concerns also leave that in the comment section down below 
and if you enjoyed this video if you learned anything in this video if it was helpful at all to you then go ahead and give me a thumbs up babe please please and if you haven't already joined the click if you can't tell that we're litty than a titty over here girl just do it just hit the subscribe button it's totally free it shows a little bit of support like we're we're clicked up over here like i know you want to be part of the click because it's lady little titty like why wouldn't you want to be a part of it so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications because i want to see you in the next video okay <laughs> thank y'all so much for watching thank y'all for y'all support and i love y'all so much see y'all in the next one bye